Well, in other news, the Aviation Heritage Park has recently been chosen as a new caretaker for the F-105 Thunder Chief by the National Museum of the United States Air Force. WBKO's Laura McCauley is in studio to tell us more about the aircraft and when it might be seen here in Bowling Green. Lauren. And Kelly, the F-105 F Thunder Chief, known as the THUD by its pilots, played a crucial role in high-speed, low-altitude missions targeting surface missiles. It was also one of the primary aircrafts used in the Vietnam War. A lot of people look at this aircraft with great fondness who served back in those days because this was the aircraft that was keeping them safe. And um, we're so fortunate to be able to have one of these aircraft here in Bowling Green. There's only six of this variant that are even in the world. Executive Director of the Aviation Heritage Park, Bob Bubness, says the version coming to Bowling Green has additional modifications and is often referred to as the wild weasel due to its second seat for suppressing enemy defenses. It had an electronic warfare officer, aka EWO, in the back who was really controlling what was going on in terms of uh, taking out these, uh, these systems. In keeping with the AHP's mission to showcase South Central Kentucky aviators, two highly decorated pilots, Lieutenant Colonel Billy Sparks and General Joseph Ralston, will be honored in the exhibit. It's incredible the people who have come out of this region and they're going to be honored with this aircraft and their stories will be told just like the other stories that you see. He adds that many of the aircrafts at the park are on a permanent loan and oftentimes have to go through a government or accredited agency for authorization before going to the park. This time, however, was different. This is the first time that they've just gone directly to us with it, even though we're not accredited. And I think the reason for that, when I asked them, why are you doing this? You know, it's kind of out of the normal way that you do it. It's because of our reputation. It was a one word answer, reputation. Bumness adds, one of the great things about the aircraft is that they plan on getting the public involved, much like they did in 2009. Anybody who's been here since 2009 has heard the stories of the F-4 being driven down Three Springs Road so it could be installed here as an exhibit honoring General Dan Cherry. He says once the aircraft is here, they plan to open it up for volunteers to go out and help restore it. The goal is to make our aircraft look like they're ready to take off right now. And not a lot of institutions can pull that off. So it takes a lot of work to make them that way. But thanks to our volunteers and all the people who have put this thing together, uh, if you go look at our aircraft, they're in pretty great shape. The aircraft will be transported to Bowling Green through a joint operation between the Aviation Heritage Park, the F-105 Thunder Chief Society, and the River Rats. The official date for arrival has yet to be announced. In studio, Laura McCauley, WBKO News. Kelly.